Hello everyone, welcome to Sisa This Much. This is Aditya, and today we'll be discussing something unique, okay? Which is, uh, you know, which you can see uh, reason to suspect versus reason to believe. Why are we discussing? First of all, you know, why the hell are we discussing this in the Sisa exam? The reason I'm discussing this is because there are two questions in the official question, and 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 when I'm saying question, these are the official questions from the Isaka QE database. Okay, so where they have used this term reasons to believe, and what Isaka interprets when using this term, and and how you need to solve, uh, you know, question when when you see the term reasons to believe. So I'll I'll be discussing what it actually means and what Isaka interprets because there are some confusions, you know, because the meaning is something different, but the interpretation is something different. So I wanted to show you how to you know deal with these kind of questions. So without wasting much time, I'll be going uh, much deeper into the uh, these terms first, and then we'll be discussing that that question. Okay. So first of all, understand, you know. Uh, we, we don't have word reason to suspect as such okay uh, but we have uh, i mean I isaka they have used this word reasons to believe in the official qa okay when you say reasons to believe reasons to believe means a person or or, or something is said to uh, have reasons to believe if a thing if he has sufficient cause to believe that thing but not otherwise what does it mean it means that it means that there is level of evidence beyond mere suspicion so if you have a a good uh, you know amount of like we say sufficient and appropriate audit evidence saae sufficient and appropriate audit evidence so when see now now this is what we understand but the interpretation is different that's the reason i'm explaining you this so don't go with this particular uh, thing what what i'm trying to explain you over here because the real interpretation what isaka has used is is uh, slightly different okay but when you when you understand the, the 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 logical or you can say the literal meaning of this term reason to believe it means that you have some reasons it means you have the evidences to believe that something is true right when you say you have some evidence it means you have sufficient and appropriate evidence audit evidence beyond mere suspicion so it's not a mere suspicion okay it's not a mere suspicion just a second yeah so so when you when you, when you say mere suspicion it means that you me you have doubt but you don't have proper evidence so suspicion means you feel that something may be true okay there is a, a term may as of now whatever i am saying these are the real meanings when you say suspicion or suspect or whatever it means that something may be true so when you say when you use a term may it it includes possibility so may be or may not be right but when you say reasons to believe it means that you have full reasons to believe you have full evidences to believe that something is true this is the real meaning okay but they they have uh, assumed or they have interpreted this term in different way okay all right so normally normally uh, okay if 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 you have full evidences to believe that something is true in that scenario we have to report it okay so if you if you have the full evidences then then you will not do further investigation or you will not take further evidences you will not do additional procedures to take further uh, evidences to collect further evidences because you already have sufficient and appropriate audit evidence and, and then you will be going to report it right but for isaka they assume this term in a different way okay something before so what according to them is reasons to believe for them the reasons to believe is nothing but reasons to suspect so something before or something at the stage of a mere suspicion like you still need more details about it so when in the exam if you if you see the term reasons to believe you will always interpret this as a suspicion it is a mere suspicion or you or they suspect that something may be true the important word is may be true because may may means there is some possibility of may not be right so may be or may not be okay so this is the interpretation what what they have used okay so i'll show you two questions right 
and these are the official questions although management has stated otherwise although the management has stated otherwise an is auditor has reasons to believe an is auditor has reasons to believe see if you don't understand this particular term you will not even understand what the question is trying to say because the meaning changes just because of this interpretation okay auditor has reasons to believe that the organization is using software that is not licensed in this situation the is auditor should first option a include the statement from the management in the audit report verify the software is in use through testing include the item in the audit report directly or discuss the issue with the senior management like you know directly go to the senior management because it could have a negative impact on the organization so here uh you know when when uh, when they have like like in case if they don't use this word reasons to believe and if if you have the full evidence then you will directly go and report it right but here they are saying you it's it, when they use the term reasons to believe it's a mere suspicion so if it's a mere suspicion it means that we need to gather more evidences right so we cannot directly go to the senior management we cannot include it in the in the audit report we cannot include the statement from the management in the audit report right we should what we should be doing more investigation we should be doing we should try to collect more evidences so verify the software is in use through testing so so uh, do additional procedures you know do additional testing gather more evidences because the term used is reasons to believe right next question see question is very easy question is extremely easy if you understand that particular term reasons to believe if you because what will happen is in the exam hall if you don't understand this term reasons to believe and logically and legally also because this this term reasons to believe we normally use in the legal language okay and, and in the in the legal language reasons to believe means you have all the reasons to believe that something is true but reason to suspect that that's the reason i use this, these two terms because there is no reason to suspect in the in in the cisa uh, syllabus but what uh, this is actually a legal term reasons to suspect reasons to believe and in the legal term reasons to suspect means you have mere suspicion you 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 feel that uh, some person have done some mistake committed some crime okay but you are not sure you feel that you will gather more evidences but reasons to believe means you have full evidences to believe this is the legal language okay this is the most frequently used legal term but for isaka when they use the term reasons to believe it means they are using the term reasons to suspect you need to interpret like this it's a mere suspicion right otherwise if you don't understand this thing you will directly you know go wrong in this particular question right and after initial investigation an is auditor has reasons to believe that fraud may be present now here they have used uh, they have given you one more hint that this is the h2 this is the h1 hint number 1 this is the h h2 this is hint number 2 hint number 1 is there is reasons to believe hint number 2 is maybe so maybe means there is a possibility so there can be a chance that this is not true right fraud may be present the is auditor should expand the activities to determine whether an investigation is warranted report the matter to the audit committee report the possibility of fraud to the management consult with external legal counsel to determine the course of action to be taken okay since they have used the word reasons to believe okay you need to go for what you need to go for option number a which is to expand activities to determine whether an investigation is warranted okay because the term used is reasons to believe so it's not a difficult uh, thing a difficult thing uh, if you if you know the uh, this particular term reasons to suspect reasons to believe and what interpretation is used in the real world and what interpretation we need to use for solving the exam question if we see this term reasons to believe all right i hope it makes sense all right thank you so much